So I'm going to talk about how to make federal law and proposed bills in Congress easier to understand. It's a long-term vision, but there are legislative actions that Congress can take today to help us get there. In particular, if you work on the House Judiciary Committee, this talks for you. And so everyone remembers this bill. This is the Affordable Care Act, and it was 906 pages long. Many of its pages look like this, specific wording changes in the form of strike X and insert Y. Now, how is anyone ever expected to understand the meaning of all of these changes? The answer is humans can't, or at least not efficiently. But luckily, we have computers that are really good and really fast at finding text and replacing um, one piece of text with another. But why don't we have software today that automatically shows us red line versions of bills? First, a little bit of history. Before 1926, if you wanted to learn about federal statutory law, you had to look in the statutes at large, which publishes laws in chronological order. But if you want to learn about the state of, say, copyright law, the statutes at large won't get you very far. So Congress began to rearrange our laws into topical categories, which we now call the US Code. Title 17, for example, is all about copyright. But Congress was worried that, as the laws were being rearranged, that the meaning of the laws might actually get changed. So they said that the US Code was a copy of the law. The authoritative version was still in the statutes at large. But eventually, things started getting confusing again, because provisions were now located in two different places. So Congress began a new effort to make the US Code itself authoritative through a process called positive law codification. To make one title of the US Code into positive law, Congress passes a bill that does two things. First, it enacts the entire text of the title into law. And second, it repeals all of the original provisions that were scattered in the statutes at large. And Congress will do this for each title, one at a time. But progress has been very slow. Up until now, only about half of the US Code titles have been enacted into positive law. The other half remains a copy of the statutes at large. And because of this dichotomy, it's difficult for developers to build software tools that can take proposed bill text and automatically convert it into an easy to read redline version of the law. Codification also has other benefits, like fixing many existing problems with the code. It renumbers difficult citations like section 460ZZZ-7. It fixes statutory drafting errors where Congress amended some text that didn't exist. And it fixes situations where two different provisions were given the exact same citation. So what's the ask? The good folks in the Office of the Law Revision Council have drafted new codification bills to convert the remaining US code titles into positive law. These bills are nonpartisan and make no substantive changes to the meaning of the law. They should be uncontroversial. They have six bills ready to go right now to improve titles 35 and 36 and to create new positive law titles 52 through 55. These bills go through the House Judiciary Committee. And while I realize this may not be a top priority, it's an easy thing to do, and it will make Congress easier to understand. So if you're on that committee, please help to shepherd these bills through. Thank you.